in First Nephi chapter 19, Nephi opens up and talks about a weakness he might have. This leads Nephi to talk about how people do sometimes esteem things of great worth to be nothing. And uh, he's talking about, you know, in terms of his plates that he's keeping, he knows that they're of great worth, uh, but because he might make mistakes in them, people might re esteem them as nothing. They'll just say, ah, oh, this is junk. Look at that. He he didn't put a comma where there's supposed to be a comma, or, or he misspelled, you know, a simple word here and there. Um, and they'll just dismiss it completely because of those tiny, tiny things. And uh, then he talks about the ultimate example of people dismissing things of great worth. And he tells a great testimony of, of who Christ was and how he yielded himself to people, uh, evil men, that um, to be lifted up according to the words of Zenic and to be crucified according to the words of Nahum and to be buried in a sepulcher. And it also said in verse 9, uh, Wherefore they scourge him, and he suffereth it, and they smite him, and he suffereth it. Yea, they, they spit upon him, and he suffereth it, because of his loving kindness and his long suffering towards the children of men. So here's the greatest of all, and he is being just trampled upon, and he's of greatest worth. And so what happens then? Well, eventually, uh, all will see the salvation of the Lord. So just remember that whenever you're doing something that might be uh, esteemed by people as as meaningless, oh, you, you're just a stay-at-home mom, or... or you just work a, a construction job, really? Well, it's of great worth because what you're doing has a lasting impact on your family, your children, your e their eternal salvation. So what people esteem to be uh, meaningless and worthless um, is a lot of times the things of greatest worth, and that was certainly the case with Christ.